Hiya, it's Hannah, the Artisan Duck, and I thought I'd come back today with another bead weaving tutorial. I have made a cute heart bracelet um, using a brick stitch here, and then I've strung it on elastic to make a, a super simple, easy bracelet to wear and to make. So I thought it'd be a fun one, uh, seeing as we have Valentine's Day coming up. So uh, I have got some size 11 red seed beads here. I've got some size 11 gold seed beads and that's that's all the beads you need. Um, I also have some crimp beads which I'll show you later and some crimp covers and then for the stringing I've just got um, an arm, half an arm span of grey thread. Uh, I've used grey because that's what I've got and white was too bright and black was too dark. And then I've also got some thin elastic, this is 0.5 millimeter. I will leave all the descriptions in the box below of everything I've used. I've also got a blog post on this, so if you want to see step-by-step -step photos, feel free to uh, hop on to over to that and you can sort of maybe slow it down and go at your own pace with those instead. But yeah, let's get going. So the first thing, I've obviously got a beading needle. I'm going to pick up two of the gold beads and this is going to start right at the base of the heart. So I've got my two gold. I've got two gold beads and I'm just going to take them down. I'm leaving myself a tail thread. It's got to be long enough to put a needle on and knot with it through the thread. So you don't want it to be too short. Don't be scared to leave a reasonably good length. So there's my two beads. I'm going to take my needle and we're going to go back up the first bead and not the second. And this is going to force the two beads to sit side by side. Can you see that? My camera does not want to focus. There you go. Two beads sitting side by side. And there's my tail thread. Right, we want to add the little point onto the heart, so I always do that now. It does slightly ruin the sit of the beads just temporarily, it'll all sort itself out. So we're going to go back through that first bead again, because I want the tail thread to be sticking out the bottom of the heart once we've finished, and this is the only way to make that happen. Well, I'm sure there's another way, but this is how I do it. And then I pick up another gold. like that and we're going to go straight back up the other bead, the other gold bead just like that again and this is going to give you a little triangle of beads like that so you've got the two sitting side by side that we added once it focuses and then the little bead at the bottom there and the, you just have to keep the tension at this point because it is um, wanting to twist and turn and undo itself a little it will all sort itself out just like that right so the first step is um, to start building up the sides now if you notice, we've got a gold rim going all the way around the outside and the red is only in the middle. So each time we come to a new level of beadwork, we're going to be picking up a gold first and then the red. Right, so I've picked up a gold and a red and I'm going to take it through the bridging thread between these two beads, just like that. You see there? So that's going to trap those beads into place. You're going to pull through, just like so. You might need to wiggle the beads into shape so they sit one on top of the other. And then we're going to take the needle and we're going to go back up through the red again, like that. So it looks just like that. Now because we're gonna we're coming up the edge, we're gonna do a gold. There's just three beads in this row. So I find a gold 
Yeah. Um, because there's no bridging threads here to trap the thread underneath, we're going to have to go and trap it under the thread that's going up the gold and into the red. Or well, up from the bridging threads and up into the red. So, there you go there. And this is pretty much the stitch all the way. And then you're going to go up through the gold again. And there we go, that's the first bit. It sits a lot better the more you build the heart up, so you just have to go with it for a minute. Right, I always turn the beadwork over so I'm stitching in the same way every single time. It just, it's just easier on my brain. So, I'm going to do exactly the same again. Two beads to start with because we're still ex increasing the brick stitch. So we're going to go for a gold and then a red, just like that. And then through this bridging stitch here over the top of the beads, just make sure my thread is tight. Push the needle through like that. They'll start to sit. And then you take the needle back up just through the red. Just like that. Now we're still working on the inside of the heart now and we're going to have four beads so the gold's going to be on the end so the next bead is going to be a red one. So pick up your red, in through this bridging bead here when it wants to focus, if it ever wants to focus, like that. And then a back up through the red. And you'll see there's a pattern to this. It just carries on going in this manner. Pull to tighten. And then because we're at the end of the row, we're going to pick up a gold bead. There's a gold and we're going to go between the threads down here. Because we've got no more bridging threads over the top of the beads. So we're using the thread going up through that red. And then we're going to go back up through the gold. There you go. There's the bottom of our heart taking shape. So I've turned it again and we're going to keep on adding exactly the same stitch. So you're going to increase this to three red then four red and then five red and once we get to five red in the middle and a gold on either side we're going to change it up a little bit so i'm just going to carry on beading away um, and i'll be back once i've done it there we go there's our reds five reds with a gold on either side so we need to start adding in the beads if it will focus for me in the middle there so that the gold edge goes all the way around so we're going to pick up a gold and a red then another red and then gold gold and then red red gold on the other side so start off just like normal with two beads so one gold one red just like we have been doing there and pop it in so we're still increasing at this point we'll bring it back in for the top in a minute so there's that just like normal and then it's another red And then we're going to pick up, I'll show you, this bead, it's got two hangers on, I think we'll move that one to the side. Pick up a gold, and then same brick stitch, just like that. A 
up through the middle. And we're going to go for another gold. Like that. And up through there. And then we're going to finish the row off with two reds and a gold. I'll just crack on and do that. If I go quiet, it seems I can't stitch and talk easily at the same time. There's one. Doop. There we go, and now put on the gold. Right, there we go. So we've got, that's the, the, the widest part of the heart and we've got the two golds in the middle. So now we need to bring it in to make the curved top. And I'm gonna show you how to miss these beads out in the middle to make that shape. So I'll just show you the next row is gonna be gold, red, gold, and then we dip down. So instead of picking up two, we're just going to pick up one gold because we don't want to increase at this point. We want to start bringing it back in. So I've got my one gold here. There's my one gold and we're gonna go in just like a standard stitch. So not two, just the one. And then up through the middle of that one again. So it's exactly the same, but just with one bead, not two on this occasion. Right, and then we're gonna pick up the one red. There. Of course, I've got two reds, tip one off. Red. All right, we're gonna go back up through the red like that and we're going to pick up one gold At this point, you'll notice you see the thread on the outside of the bead, and that's totally fine and exactly how it should be. So, because we don't want to fill in this gap here, we need to miss it out altogether. So, I'm going to take the needle down through the gold. And then we're going to go back up the next gold along, just like that. So now... We've moved along and we're ready to start this pattern again. So gold, red, gold. I'll be back in a minute once I've done it. There we go, we're exiting out the top. So now we just need to add the gold beads on the top to finish the heart off. Quite simply, just pick up one, exactly the same brick stitch. You're going to go through the threads. And then back up the bead. Like that. And then another gold. Oops. There. And back up. And then to get down onto the other side of the beadwork, just like we did before. We're going to head down through these gold beads 
both of them down this way. It's quite difficult looking through the camera to the beads to see exactly where you're going. There we go, that's why I keep sort of stabbing around. And then we're going to go up the other side like this. Tail thread. And then we're going to go up to this next one up here. Like that. There we go. So from here we're just going to add the other two gold beads. I'm just going to pick one up. Go through. And back through this way. And by now, you see it's all the same. And then we're just going to add a, the last gold bead here. There we go. And then as the final step, we're going to take the needle back down. And just to finish off the stitch and hold that last gold bead firmly in place. There we are. Now we need to move on to knotting the threads. Right, so in order just to knot it, where is it? I'm exiting out down here. I just go up the threads, so which are going going up the gold beads. It's so always going to be threads there. Pull and then loop. I'm going to undo my thing. there and then pull, and the knot will disappear into the bead, especially when you sew through. And you can do this a couple of times all throughout your beadwork um, to make it nice and secure. And once you've done this side, you just take this one up the other side and knot it in exactly the same way, but making sure you avoid those beads that are sticking out at the widest part. Just we do not want to get knots in there because it'll make it very difficult to finish. There you go, I'll be back. Once I've finished knotting, and show you how I make the elasticated bracelet. There we go, it's all knotted. I just need to cut the ends off. As you can see, I've actually weaved into the red beads a little bit as well, just to move the little threads when I cut it away. So I shall cut those now. I've got some scissors here. As ever, what I do is I pull up with the thread that's left and I sort of push down with the scissors. And when you cut, any little tail threads just shoot back into the beadwork. So down, pull and snip. And the scissors need to be quite sharp because the um, wildfire thread can be a little bit tricky to cut. Right, for the actual stretchy bracelet bit, you need to get a length of elastic like that. It needs to obviously fit comfortably around your wrist, but also have you know a little bit at the ends that you can work with as well. Um, I've also got these two little crimp covers, they're like little half beads, like that, if it'll focus, those little crimp covers there, and I've got two gold crimps, which are just these teeny tiny little gold beads, which incidentally look just like the beads we're working with. So. We're going to put the crimp bead on. Ah, there we go. So we're going to put the crimp bead on first, and then we're going to go and we're going to pick up, I'm going to move the second crimp out of the way so I don't lose it. We're going to pick up three, can see me win maybe, three of these golds. So I'm just going to 
try and scoop them up. This clear elastic is very difficult because you can't see what you're doing. Two. Three. So I've got my three beads here. Like that, with the bottom one being the crimp, and the top be three being just the normal gold. Right, I'm going to take my end, and this bit is quite fiddly, or can be. I'm going to take the elastic through this bead here, the one, the widest part of the heart. There we go, that one's not too bad. I've got that three, can you see? It's now hooked onto there. Once it's through, we're going to pick up three more. One. Two. Three. Like so. And we're going to take... Come on. The other end of the elastic through the crimp bead and pull it down. Just like that. And you see? And now, with it all nicely held in place, I'm going to flatten the crimp bead. Just squash it down with the flat nose pliers. I like to squash it from both sides just to make sure. Like that. So that's now covered. And then we're going to get the crimp cover. And this is going to be easier said than done. I'm trying to film myself do this. So there's my crimp cover. Right, so there's my crimp bead. I've got my crimp cover. Like that. And I know it's going to be tricky for you to see. I'm just going to squeeze this shut like that. So I'm holding both elastic and squeeze it shut. And that covers it. And then you can go back in and neaten it up. So I sometimes like to just squeeze it. Come on camera. And you can just neaten the ends up a little bit. That kind of thing. Just to give you the finish of a bead like that. So that's one side done. So what we need to do now is you can write at this minute if you want, now it's all secure, cut off the little part of elastic, but make sure you're cutting off the right bit. You can cut it right up to the crimp. All right, there we go. We've got the crimp cover there and we've got one strand of elastic now to work with. We're just gonna string on a load of the gold beads until if you wanted a seven and a half inch bracelet you would bead until you've got a length of seven and a quarter inches um because then we're going to add the extra quarter of an inch would be this little fastening bit here so measuring from the end of the heart to the end of the beading for a seven and a half inch bracelet you want to measure seven and a quarter i shall be back when i have strung the gold beads because nobody needs to watch me do that back soon Right, I've done that, I've got my little tape measure, so you can see it's just about seven and a quarter inches there, you can't see the other end I don't think, but there we go. So that's now going to be a seven and a half inch bracelet, so let's move this out of the way. So before we finish off, we obviously need to add your crimp bead and do all that stuff again. So we're going to thread on a crimp bead like that, and then we're going to thread on three golds. There we go, there's the three gold beads. We're going to take that down to the other beadwork and we're going to go into this bead that's sticking out here on the heart, the widest point. Right, can you see? Got that through. We're going to pull. Now we're going to pick up three more gold beads. There 
we go, there's three more gold beads, we're going to take that down to the beadwork and we're going to go into the, back into the crimp bead that we've just added here so you can slacken it off for a minute because we can always pull the elastic in a second to tighten it so we're going to go through Oops. through pull your end the elastic end there we go pull to tighten and I'm going to get my pliers there we go so now there's my crimp beads there I'm just going to use my pliers and carefully squeeze and just be careful not to catch the gold beads because I've done this before and you end up breaking a bead as you're doing it there we go just need to get my crimp cover now so here's my crimp cover I'm going to pop that on There we go, just squeeze it shut. See it's there, squeezed shut. If you need to, you can just go in and tweak the shape of it again. Just sometimes just doing that helps close it up, make it rounder, that kind of thing. Just have to play with it till you're done. There we go. And then we just need to cut off the extra elastic but it's all secure now so you just take it down and snip and there we have a super simple brick stitch heart bracelet you could always if you wanted to make this into a necklace and just put some jump rings if you've got some fine enough jump rings you could put them through these beads and hang a chain you could do a chain bracelet instead of the beads but I quite like the beads and I also like that you can put it on and wear it without having to fuss, fuss with a fastening. Alright I hope you enjoyed that all the links are down below in the description including links to the blog post and everything else. Alright cheers bye!